In 1946, Preston Tucker, who owned Salanti Machine Company with his mother, was designing a rear-engine car with Harry Miller of Miller Racing Car fame. Brother Carl and I became interested in the car. In 1947, we were appointed a dealer for the Quincy and South Shore area for the Tucker car. We purchased a plot of land from the Faxon Trust Company at 330 Quincy Avenue. We built a garage, which was completed in 1948. The same year, we had a showing of the Tucker car on Thanksgiving week. According to the local paper, the Patriot Ledger, it was the most attended showing that year in Quincy. Our experience with the Tucker was exciting from the start. Every showing around the country drew large, enthusiastic crowds. In our showroom, the tile floors were worn out quickly by the crowds that came to see the car. Just getting the car to Quincy was an event. Our show model was driven from Fitchburg by me and a representative from the Tucker Company. On the Worcester Road near Framingham, we were stopped by a state trooper who had clocked our speed at 115 miles per hour. The trooper directed us to follow him to a judge's home in Northborough, where we had to pay a fine of $12 before we could continue on our way to Quincy. As we were setting up the Tucker dealership, I had taken over 250 orders for the new car with the stipulation that the car might not be delivered due to the opposition the major car manufacturers were putting in the way of it being built. In all, however, only 57 Tucker cars were built, and these were sold only to collectors.